Hey, welcome back to Marvel and DC Theorists and Marvel and DC Explained. And also my Tarzan Zan. We will be uploading this on all my channels. Let's talk about this Deadpool and Wolverine, aka Deadpool 3. My voice is going out just a little bit, so bear with your boy. Okay. So, um, man, we got a lot, like a lot to geek out about this trailer. So, one of the Wolverine variants will meet in Deadpool and Wolverine will be Patch. I love how Patch um, just got teased for this Deadpool and Wolverine. Like, and honestly, it will be played by a different actor. Now, my guess, I'm thinking Daniel Radcliffe, if not Daniel Radcliffe. We possibly, possibly could be getting this Taron um, Egerton. So pretty much, um, I don't know if they will be giving us this patch um, in Madripoor, like if they're keeping it completely comic accurate. And it also was teased um, that Wolverine um, teased back in the day with Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So I don't know if they pre-planned a lot of this stuff, but it's dope that a lot of this stuff is coming full circle. But um, yeah, the beginning of this Deadpool trailer in general just starts with wade getting raided by the tva and pretty much a lot of the returning members from the previous deadpool 1 and deadpool 2 and obviously um the main person that a lot of people are like what the heck is vanessa like vanessa's back so this will you know this at the end of deadpool 2 we know deadpool changed a lot of the stuff you know so pretty much he probably did go to a timeline and saved um vanessa um and i love how as you can see right here on twitter miss menace says please don't damage anything like it's just hilarious so the tva so starting it off next is the tva the tva was um the big main thing that was confirmed a while ago but it's dope to see nods to the loki series now I have seen some people may want to say complaints or, or whatever, but kind of a nod to like where is Mobius and Mobius? Pretty much the end of the Loki kind of confirmed that he quote unquote retired. So um, that's why we don't see Owen Wilson in this Deadpool three. But there was talks about him being in this. It would have been dope. Um, but uh, I, I believe his name is Matthew. So. He's assuming, well, I think a lot of us are assuming, might be the head of the TVA. If not him, it's probably going to be the villain, which was our first sneak peek. Um, Cassandra Nova, played by Emma Corrin. Now, this is the dope and interesting thing I love about this, right? So, um, Emma Corrin, as Cassandra Nova, is Charles Xavier's pretty much twin sister that he ended up killing in the womb but she ended up surviving and all of the good stuff that charles xavier um can do and you know how powerful she is the opposite completely bad and super strong so she might most likely be the main villain of this movie like there's no way around it is she running the tva that is a rumor that's been going around that some people think it possibly be a thing um we also get a shot and tease to lady deadpool which is like wow the only reason why a lot of us think no it's lady deadpool and not a male deadpool variant is because of this specific gun that she uses so it's just like come on now be pretty iconic if they give us that which by the way I'm not saying Taylor Swift is going to be a Deadpool variant, but there was that rumor going around uh, last year, the back half of last year, and sometime around the beginning of this year. So we could get her as a Lady Deadpool variant, if not obviously give us the iconic Dazzler that a lot of us think she will be. So some people think this is a spot that um, the Avengers um avengers 2 battle was and it's like nah there's no way that that's where that was at because 
this specific truck where Logan, um, it was in Logan. That was the like exact same truck from Logan where Logan died, you know, towards the end of Logan. So maybe this could be a scene where Deadpool pops up on a different timeline and ends up saving this Wolverine before he dies, you know, like, and that's probably why we're going to be getting this like super pissed, you know, like gritty Wolverine, comic accurate Wolverine that a lot of us, um, been expecting so also did pull meets the mcu and the tva which was pretty uh pretty crazy love this scene and seeing him like salute captain america so you for sure could have i'm pretty sure a lot of us could bet that we're going to get a lot of jokes and nods to deadpool making jokes about him being a avenger or possibly the best avenger or you know whatever whatever jokes we'll see but to end off this trailer with Wolverine being teased, and I love how we didn't get too much Wolverine tease at all. Like we got that Wolverine variant patch tease, which I'm still like hyped about. Like you can see from the physique, that is not Hugh Jackman. So it has to, I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna be Daniel Radcliffe. That is gonna break, uh, break the internet. But for some odd reason, I'm getting Taron Egerton, but I don't know, man. I, I think it might just be Daniel Radcliffe. It's been something a lot of fans that I've been wanting for a while. You know, they could be giving us fan service, um, like the John Krasinski with uh, Mr. Fantastic. Um, you know, just a little nod for a different universe. But man, 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 man. I love how Eric Voss made a tweet right at 612, right? Now, I'm going to show you guys that I actually was geeked out because... You know, I'm a smaller channel, but you always got to give a lot of us notice this stuff. I feel like if you're a comic book dork, the weeb, whatever you want to call it, you notice a lot of stuff like immediately. So I just told y'all 612 was when Eric made that uh, tweet about um, the Secret Wars, right? Now, I don't say mine was six o'clock. 12 minutes before Eric but dude a lot of us noticed um and what's hyped about this secret war is being confirmed like this is like ridiculously huge and this confirms a lot of the reports and rumors that a lot of people um didn't know were going to happen like will Deadpool be the movie that one saves the MCU but two give us a huge actual next step into secret wars and let us know like hey this will be the villain of secret wars it's no longer kang they're not doing the kang thing anymore it will be dr doom anyways enough me right there let me know what do y'all think of this breakdown and easter eggs and just geeking out about this deadpool wolverine trailer i cannot wait for it um this movie that comes out in the summer perfect time perfect summer movie like definitely going to be able to pre-order those tickets when they drop most definitely and also madden web comes out in two days so we're going to see how that was going to be anyways enough of me ranting i'm going to catch you on the next video live stream peace out and namaste